What's going on? My name is Jake. My name's Dave. We're Headley. And you are watching Ambi with us. Yeah. Hey, folks. It's hey. Alicia from Ambi, oh, and I'd sorry. like. I like that intro. Oh, okay, We're going to roll I was with it. stepping on you on purpose. It's all but good. it felt comfortable. Good. I'd like to welcome you to our interview with the one and only Headley. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Alicia. How are you? I am awesome. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing on the end? It was a very good morning, actually. Thank you. That's yeah. good to hear. I had the worst breakfast sandwich. It was from like a hot dog store. Oh. Why, it, why would you even order a breakfast sandwich from a hot dog It was my only store? option. It was just like the only pond in the desert. I was in Orlando in an airport. And it was all I got. And it was wild. <laughs> it was a wild thing. It was probably all made of different things that weren't either egg or sausage. It was insane. That sounds totally appetizing. Yeah, it wasn't. Hopefully we can rid those awful memories. Well, with I some... feel great. <laughs> that is good. And that's important. That is very important. You must be feeling really great as well because, of course, we have to speak about Hello. It's so cool. New record release. How are you feeling about that coming up? Two more days. Two more days. We're stoked. We're hyped. This has been a long time in the making. To be honest, it's actually pretty terrifying. Yeah? Yeah, you spend a lot of time working on a, a, a project like this. And for us as musicians and for how much we, of ourselves we put into it, it gets really scary because you kind of like create this thing. It's like your baby and then it's you're so proud of it. And then you kind of have to go, all right, world, you guys tell us what you think. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, that's the worst part. I was going to ask, being six records in, you still get that anxiety. It's yes. crazy. Yeah, and I think that's great because I think that signifies that we're present. And we, it's it, that kind of like also applies to live for us, too. We st I still walk out on stage and get goosebumps or, or butterflies or uh, different kinds of animal um, references but <laughs> normally because it's just like it still matters and it's still kind of like the opposite of sitting on stage and wondering if you left your oven on yeah at home. shows you care which is yeah. awesome so I think being that present is so important and do you have any plans to celebrate the release this Friday I'm gonna take up smoking <laughs> but just like cigarettes and just like for the Friday and okay, like, and, and then, then quit and then gone. feel even better about myself for kicking the, ha the habit. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that, I just came up with that. I'm going to do that, though. I like that. Okay. And what are you going to do? Are you going to do the same thing? Oh, man, I might go, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go eat. I think. You know, even though I didn't leave the oven on home, I, we do. We are musicians, and we are driven by our stomach. Just not point. a breakfast sandwich. And I did not have a terrible breakfast sandwich this morning. I did have eggs at another point in the day, and my one coffee. It might be great if all meals on Friday are champagne-themed. Oh. Kind of huh? like, kind of like <laughs> a tro that? tropical theme. Yeah, too. that's yeah. a nice thing. Lovely. Well, I wanted to ask you about the record cover because I've actually seen no one asking you about it yet. So I wanted to ask. Ooh. It's this very neat 3D effect on the front. And it looks like a someone standing almost in front or floating in front of the mountains. Yep. So what was the significance behind that for you? So that photo was inspired by a friend of mine and um, she had someone take it for her. And we wanted to replicate that same thing. We used um, a lot of the West Coast mountain ranges just to kind of like represent where we're from. And her idea behind the photo and our idea behind the replication was that concept of just sort of like emancipating yourself from everything around you and that kind of like solidarity of being in that environment. So hello is really kind of representative of that like awakening moment too where you're like in the middle of the woods on top of a mountain and you can really like get down to the basics and that's kind of what it really represents for us. And did nature inspire a lot of the record? Because I've been, I've been looking at your 15 second little teasers for each song. Like there's things from these gorgeous waterfalls. It's, yeah. it's really beautiful. I mean we're from the west coast yeah. of Canada and so it's like one of the most beautiful places places on the planet and sure. we're really proud to be from there and I think a lot of our inspiration is drawn from our surroundings and our environment so whether that's like you know just like effing off into the woods and spending time there and getting down to like yourself and writing music there or just kind of looking around you at the scenery and letting it kind of like really make you feel the way you can feel standing next to an ocean or like how small you can feel like standing next to mountains. This is when I say that I'm always the thankful band member when my singer actually returns to me safe and sound in one piece. Sometimes we, you know, it's, it's so funny because hello is about communication and expression. And we didn't talk for a good week before we started kind of doing this for the record. And sure enough, though, we both showed up at 6.30 in the morning standing outside a, uh, a building in downtown Vancouver with the pouring rain with our coffees in hand. And it was like, hey, you're back. Okay, great. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. I kind of take off and then show up like, 
hours before it's time to like yeah. get back and like in from the woods with like a, like a phone full of messages of everyone being like hey are you gonna are you just those, wandering around those, those, those moments are really great because yeah. like you know like we've been friends for 10 years and you know the fact that you know all of a sudden we can show up and just be like hey what's going on I know what's going on like we get those really face to face time catch ups that aren't just hey this is what happened on your Instagram Dave used so. lyrics from the song just I so did. you know just now <laughs> Well, one of those teasers that really stood out to me was Mankiller. 15 seconds, but it just seemed like such a cool song. And it's kind of different. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> it's, it's so fresh. It's a really it's fun really, song. It's really, really cool. So yeah. I was wondering if you could tell me a bit more about that since it hasn't been released yet. And that song's kind of like a super complimentary song and sort of like, it's not a gender role reversal because I think that's a little too heavy, but it's a song about a guy who doesn't really have to sweat much because his girl is like the one who like does all the like the muscle in the relationship like she's this like super tough girl who just yeah, like yeah. deals with the problems and is like more than willing to like throw down and she kind of like sets the pace for the okay. relationship so that's that's why it's kind of called that is because he's like he just basically doesn't have to stick up for himself or like worry about if someone's messing with his girl because she's just sort of like not to a person Where to be did that with. crazy idea come from? Well, we meet a lot of cool personalities okay. and sometimes you just like meet someone you're like, "Damn, you could totally be my be, girlfriend." And be and a like, song. Yeah, essentially. Very cool. Which is a cool idea, right? Yeah. I think so. Well, That's that where like a lot of inspiration comes from is those moments, those interactions with people whether it's a character or a story they're telling, yeah. so Awesome. Another yeah. really neat thing you shared recently was the video for Hello. I just thought it was absolutely adorable watching these two kids. Like, this is the most complicated elementary school right, love right. That's story. Right, like, I'm so it glad you, I'm so happy you, like, grasped the, like, irony of it because that's what's so funny about it to me, too, is that they're, like, ten. But for whatever reason, in this film, they have the, like, deepest emotional yeah. capacities. And they're just, like, heart-wrenched and torn. And it's a true story, too. It's based around, like, me as, like, a ten-year-old. Uh, which is far different, or it was like six even, but but even my situation wasn't as like emotionally complicated. Yeah. Mine was more just like an inability to communicate essentially, which is the impetus for like calling the album Hello. And and in my story personally, I, I fell in love with this girl at school and bought this ring and I was so excited to give it to her. My mom's like, remember, like tomorrow when you go see her, just like tell her how you feel. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's the easy part. And I get to school <laughs> and I see her across the playground and I run up to her and I totally lose my nerve and I just throw the ring at her and hit her in the side of the head and run away because I'm like six and I don't know what to do. Yeah. And that is the idea, that idea of like almost sometimes being inhibited by, by like whether it's overwhelming emotion or just a complete lack of like grasp on how to handle a situation. And sometimes we all get like that, even as adults, which is a really fun way to parallel the video as these kids can sometimes represent just the same way adults act. I too. will say this, those kids were thunder stealers, man. They were... They were so good, yeah. so awesome. Yeah, so we're good gonna, at acting, too. We're, we're like gonna it was really compelling. Yeah. Next video. What are you going to use, sorry? I think we're going to use dogs around. I want to use pets <laughs> yeah, so yeah. badly. Yeah. Yeah, we've been talking yeah. pets for a long time. This was a second video that I directed, Dish. and uh, and a lot of people warn against working with animals <laughs> and kids because they're just variables that can oh, yeah. You don't know what can, no, what can yeah, go on. Sure. But they were super, super great. We casted for a long time until we found them and like made sure that they could handle it. And they were just killer, and they were so cooperative. And it was such a fun experience as a director working with them and just kind of like getting to them, getting them to that place. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we of course discussed the music, the new record. Uh, one thing we wanted to do is just outside of the music and the performances, yeah. head leaves. Munch and I have been friends for 10 years, so outside of those things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 10 long, Ten long years. years. <laughs> outside of those things, though, what do you guys like doing together? What other hobbies or things do you bond over? I like telling these guys about baseball. Okay. <laughs> that was a big thing for me. And it was finally like Jake would finally get in the van and be like, how much Jake's doing? And I'm only referencing this because I'm a West Coast guy. And I'm pretty stoked that Husband I'm sitting out besides the, outside the uh, Dave. sky dome. Uh, well, Dave well they're, they're done. Dave constantly they're suggests done. bowling. He's always just like, we got to go. We got to bowl. We Are any of you good at bowling? Oh, we throw rocks. Oh, yeah, yeah. We roll. <laughs> Stone. Yeah. We catch each other randomly, actually. There's a couple. We're, we live in the same neighborhood right. at home, too. Okay. Which is awesome because we'll just be all of a sudden at the same park, it's walking usually. dogs, you know, having a chill. We'll be like, hello, sir. Good afternoon. And it's kind of funny to, like, sit down on a park bench 
the two of us just from like the other sides of the neighborhood yep. and just kind of like catch up for a minute, not mm -hmm. planning on doing so. Because yeah. we spend so much time together when we're mm -hmm. touring and when we're promoting and recording and rehearsing that when we have our free time, we totally take it. So when we do like just bump into each other, which we do all the time at shows around town, it's just kind of like, hey, That's dude. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny because we're like, yeah, it's shows. You go to shows. Yeah. That's what you do. You're from Vancouver. You go to shows. By the so. way, I still need to jar your tomatoes. Yeah. Not, not a chance. Jar of your tomatoes. Yeah, do you? I, I have like yeah, serious tomato sauce. Oh, like, okay. My Italian family I'm is like trying to trade very plum sauce for serious tomatoes. <laughs> about it's a big the, deal. They're heirloom tomato seeds that my grandpa smuggles from Italy and then like re-germinates in warm wool socks. And they're like, we're super serious about them. And he like just breaks my balls about like making the tomatoes grow properly and making the right sauce. And he just sauce wants tomatoes. a jar. Come on, buddy. No, and I owe him a jar. He's, nice killing, he's giving me like <laughs> jars of pickles and stuff. Okay. We're like, yeah, yeah. yeah we're homegrown over here. This is why I'm busting his balls, but I gotta get them. <laughs> you gotta get <laughs> those gotta tomatoes. <laughs> Well, of course, uh, you mentioned touring there and just going to shows. Ooh. You were embarking on the Hello World 2016 tour oh in the springtime. Can I just thank you on your impeccable ability to transition? Oh, I thank you're you. You're just nailing it. Thank you're you You're doing so much. great. I'm just so happy about it. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. No, thank you. My pleasure. And yes, we just released dates of the tour, yes. and they're already kind of selling like wildfire. And we're thank just you. so stoked because... We, we wanted to come out again with this new album, and, and, and that's like the most exciting part, is you write all these songs, and you record them, and then you get to like perform them for people, and that's where we really feel like is our wheelhouse. That's yeah. what we've been yeah. doing for a really long time. And one of the other things that we've really been doing since we've been touring, since the beginning of like the band touring, is, is spending time with our fans, and that's kind of like, I think, why we still do this, is because we have those relationships. Every, so, every show we ever played since the beginning of the band, we'd stay afterwards, and we'd hang out with Neat every fans. single, every single one, till like the security guards are shutting the lights down in the building. And that's always just been like a really important part for us. And so yeah. we still kind of incorporate that into our shows as much as we can. And it's just like the best part of what we do. No, as a fan myself, like that's amazing to hear any band do that with people. We really, really appreciate it. So good on you guys. Well, this time around, we've like really flipped the script and we've added these like mini acoustic performances to the beginning of the show, like before the show. Just I saw for, these like, packages here. Yeah, right? and, and we only started doing these because physically staying afterwards at like some venues is just impossible to like meet all the fans after so we had to kind of like marginalize how much we can do with that but yeah. still it's just like the most important part for us is being able to give back like that awesome is this the point where there's going to be some kind of graphic that says like www.headleyonline.com <laughs> if like you tour want dates one. information i like, mean if you, you want know, we yeah. can all point to it right here guys here. tour dates mm, right, right here <laughs> just my youtube channel yes oh, no, I don't but just to flip the switch, I know so many people are actually looking forward to covering or going to your shows. So just reflecting back on shows that you've been to, which ones stand out? Because you mentioned going to shows a lot. Which ones can you, you know, For whatever reason, remember? I caught his in, uh, an interview with him with Snoop Dogg last, last night. And, and it had been like six years or whatever. No, way longer. I think like 10 or 15 or, so, 15 or something. But it was Nardwar. Oh, okay. And I bumped into him in Vancouver just on the street. And I was like, dude, how's it going? He's like, hey, man. And he was walking around. <laughs> In his Nardwar outfit, handing out flyers for his show. He's like, come to my show. He was playing okay. at the Commodore Ballroom in Vancouver, really cool venue. And I just, like, for whatever reason, I watched an interview, like, last night with him. And so, like, recalled this show, which was phenomenal. He had the entire crowd sitting down on the floor at one point. Jeez. And, like, jumping up in the air at the same time. <laughs> he sat on a keyboard and <laughs> floated around the crowd on the keyboard. Like, he is such a badass yeah, performer. Yeah. It was just kind of a random, awesome show. The, the band is called The Evaporators. Yes, Check them out, Nardo guys. And the Evaporators. And also Churches, which is an incredible yeah. band. They're one of my favorite bands, and I just recently saw them. We played Ottawa Blues Fest. Oh, cool. So I got a chance to see them play there, and they were just incredible. They blew yeah. me away. We They're sat down with them a week or a month back. Here? Yep, yeah, in yeah, Toronto. Yeah, we had just, like, walked past them. In fact, actually, that night... And, and I'd seen them play at Ottawa at Blues Fest, and I was right up here in that bar there, and it was like 2 a.m., and, and the one keyboardist walked in, and I totally, you know when you half recognize someone? You're yeah. like, I, I totally know I know you, but I just have no idea how. So I didn't say anything, but I was like, oh my God, I totally think that's the guy, but I don't know if that's the guy, I don't know what to do. And it was just like, you try to Google moment. on your phone yeah, really right? quickly. Face match. <laughs> <laughs> totally. It was a thing. That's but yeah, cool. that was an amazing show. Churches. Nice. Check them out. Well, just to wrap everything up today, for all of your fans, circling back to the fans, wrapping it up, for all of them who are going to be viewing our interview, what would you like to say to them all? You guys, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. We can't wait to see you guys, so make sure you head to the website and make sure you check out the tickets that are still available in your area because we want to see you guys. We want you to come to the show because this has got 
everything we've been waiting to play for you guys. This brand new album is so important to us, and we hope it's just as important to you guys. Can't wait to see you at the show. We want to hear you sing along. Beautiful. And just thank you so much for your time today. Hey. Yeah, really likewise. do appreciate it. Always a pleasure. And remember, everyone viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogger.com for exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. And check out these fire bell bottoms if you haven't noticed. <laughs> My <laughs> God, it's cooking out here. Bringing them back. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>